from the promises of God's word, you can create a movie in the theater of your mind. And you begin to preplay, prelive the promises of God through your mind's eye. God said this to me. So this is who I am. You create a movie out of it. You find yourself as the actor in that particular movie. Watch it. I want to give you a powerful secret here. This is the secret of miracles. It is also the secret of great athletes. I happen to have one in my family. A few actually. I have discussed with Zoe many times. If not for this, they are nonsense that they have not been able to participate in those things. When she goes to run, I am there with her. We talk about these things. I look at her. I'm just observing her look. I see she's visualizing the race. She's visualizing the race. And I began to see her systems. So in, in initial studies when she used to do it, I was tensed up with her too. But later when I understood what she was doing myself, I just sit down. I just watch her do it and enjoy it. They start running, 400 especially. When they begin to approach, you know, 100, 200, I see overtaking. Overtaking, 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 overtaking. Overtakes everybody and arrives and still runs. While others are still trying to arrive, she has already arrived. She has preplayed it in her mind. At this point, I'll kick into gear two. I'll kick into five. I'll kick into seven. I'll kick even to 13 at this point. And I will hear our coach. Our coach will say something. I've forgotten what he used to say very loud. You can hear it in the whole, the whole field. And she will hear it too. Change gears. And she does, and she begins to overtake. You see, you are preplaying what it should be based on what is written. So you begin to prelive the realities of scriptures. You create a vision, a, a, a video. Ah, Natasi Braga. Let, let me show you something here. Watch it. In Luke chapter 8. Luke chapter 8. Let's see from verse 49. Luke 8 from verse 49. I want to give you a proper context. This is talking about Jesus here. Why Jesus, why he was still speaking... Remember the contest. The contest is Jesus was with his crowd. The disciples, apostles, and lots of them. And the woman, and, and Jarius, who was a synagogue ruler, had come to call him. Say, please come pray for the sick, dying child at home. While Jesus was going, the woman with the issue of blood interrupted the movement of Jesus and got her miracle. And then Jesus was saying to the crowd, who touched me? Who touched me? Who touched me? And Peter said, Master, lots of people are touching you here. And you are saying, you touch me. Jesus said, I know because power left me. And the woman said, she was the one that did it. Do you remember that contest in the story in the Bible? Now, that's where we are. Watch it here. While he was still speaking, someone came from the ruler of the synagogue's house saying to him, your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher. Do you see that? Jesus heard this statement. Just like Jarius also heard the statement. And the crowd heard the statement. Hear what Jesus said. But when Jesus heard it, somebody said Jesus heard it. He answered him saying, do not be afraid. Only believe and she will be made well. Right there, Jesus began to preplay. The promises of God in the theater of his mind, in spite of what he just heard. Jarius heard it. The crowd heard it. The man who brought the message saw it. He had given up his expectation because the daughter is already dead. There is nothing anybody can do now. So he came and gave the message to Jarius and to Jesus. Don't trouble the master anymore. The child is already dead. He's settled. He's finished. The next thing is to plan for funeral. Jesus said, Jesus said do not be afraid. Jesus began to preplay the promises of God. Are you following me now? What are the promises of God to him? If I lay hands on this sick child, she'll be made well. She will not die. 
I am above death. I am the resurrection and I am the life. Wherever 